In this video, we're going to look at how to make a game in Stencil. Now, you may have used Scratch to make a game, and you can make some really cool games in Scratch. But in Stencil, you can take it a little bit further. So, how do you make a game in Stencil? Start by creating a new game, which is going to be a blank game. Let's give it a name. And in the size, I'm going to go for a game which is 800 by 600. That's kind of old school, but at least it's something to start with. And let's create that. Now in Stencil, for some reason, we have different words to mean the same thing in every other game. So for example, in the other games you have characters, in Stencil you have actors. Backgrounds are what you're going to have in the background of your levels. And talking about levels, in Stencil levels are called scenes. So you'll hear me using both words to describe the same thing. That's to make sure that you understand what I'm talking about. So let's create our first level or our first scene. And I'm going to call it level one. It's really useful if you call your levels by their level numbers rather than some random name. It makes your life much easier later on. So here we go. This is our first level. And of course, we have nothing here. It's a white rectangle with nothing in it. So let's go back to our dashboard. And let's take some kind of character. Now, I haven't made a character. So what I'll do is I'll click on that stencil forge button over there. And let's go to actors. And I'm going to grab this small crocodile here. It's a very quick download and it should just be waiting for us in about a second. And here we go. Later on we'll talk about how to animate our characters or our actors so that their feet move or their arms move or their eyes move. But for now let's keep it simple and just put things into our game. Uh, while we're on Stencil Forge let's go to the backgrounds and let me grab, yeah, randomly let me just grab this universe one. This will take a little bit longer. You can see it's a little bit bigger than our crocodile. So it should take three or four seconds to come in. And once it's there, we've got the beginnings of a new game. And I'll show you how to put them all together. Now, while we're waiting for that, it's interesting for you to note that the dashboard is where you go when you're looking for an overview of your game. So right now you can see I've got one actor or one character. That's my crocodile here. You can see I've got one background, which is my universe background. And I've got one level, which is level one. So what we'll do is I'm just going to close these other tabs. So here we have the dashboard. And what we want to do is go into our backgrounds over here. And what we want to do is we want to put this background into our level one. So I'm going to attach to a scene, remembering that a scene is a level. And press OK there. And you should see my background will now sit inside that level there. That's perfect. What I'm then going to do is go back to my dashboard, go back to my actors, double click my crocodile just to check if he's okay. So here's my crocodile and I want to put that into my level one. So I'm going to add to scene, choose level one, press OK. And you can see he's here, but before we go any further, I've got to tell you we've got a problem. I want you to look down in this right hand corner over here and you can see that my background, which is called Universe, is sitting on its own layer. That's pretty good. Now, a character or an object or anything that's in a game cannot go on the same layer as a background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the next layer down, which is called Layer 0. And you can still see the crocodiles there, but he's now going behind the background. That's okay. Let's just click him there. And you can see I've kind of left him there. Go over here and click the black arrow. And we do have a problem because our character, which is here, is behind our background. Really easy to fix. So let's go to our layer, which now has our crocodile in it. Pick it up and just move it above our background layer. And that's all you need to do. So we have our crocodile on top of the background. And now we're ready to begin making our game and moving our character and doing whatever else we want to do. So that's a very quick introduction on how to get a background, a level, and a character into a game in Stencil. In our next video, we'll look at how to move a character and start to get our game looking like an actual game.